Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to tackle the first challenge in the intermediate section. It is, uh, what is it? Oh yes, sum all numbers in a range. We will pass you an array of two numbers. Return the sum of those two numbers and all the numbers between them. The lowest number will not always come first. Okay, so um, basically we have this um, this one argument right here, array, and it will consist of two integers. And the lowest number might come first, it might come second, but we still need to return the result of, a, of all of those arrays. Uh, of all those integers in the range of those arrays. So for example, one comma four, that array, it should return a number, it should return 10. And also four comma one should also return 10. So uh, we have a couple of, um, of methods that are gonna help us find us uh, the lowest and largest number. We got math.max and math.min. That should be pretty self-explanatory, just listening to that. And uh, we're going to use our good old friend, the reduce array method to um, find the uh, sum of all of those numbers in that range. So with that in mind, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into the text editor. I went ahead and created a 17 um, comma or underscore sum range JS file and I uh, embedded that on line 11 of my um, example that HTML file. So first thing I want to do, I want to just create my min and max values. So var min math dot min and uh, I need to give it uh, two arrays uh, or Sorry, I, I need to give this uh, method, this min method, uh, two integers. So I'm just going to say r, all right, and zero, and r, one. Now, uh, this is just one way to do this. Um, there, there, are, uh, there are other ways to call the min and max method to find the uh, smallest and largest number in a range. Um, since we only have two integers and, and that's it, this is probably the easiest way. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. Math.max. Okay, and pass in those two numbers. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Um, now we need to have an array of numbers, like a range between the minimum and the maximum. So let's go ahead and do that. Our range, we're going to make that an empty array. And our uh, i equals min. And i is less than or equal to max i plus plus. Okay. And then we're just going to push that number uh, to the range, um, to the range array. All right, looks good. Uh, let's just see, make sure that we get, um, make sure that we get our uh, range of numbers. Oops, I uh, misspelled something. Some range, not JS. Some range not JS. That should be working. Huh. Hmm. All right. Underscore 17 sum range dot JS. Okay. I'm looking at the um looking at the title. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause the video just uh one second right here. Uh, something is not working, something small. I'm sure it's really, really small. Just a moment. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And like I suspected, it was a very small mistake, small error on my part. Uh, you see what happened. Uh, I, I went ahead and I created folders, the JavaScript files. So I made a basic folder for all of the um, initial challenges. And uh, I made a intermediate folder for, uh, for this. So I, I just, 
I, I, I wasn't calling, uh, the, I, I wasn't embedding the file from the right directory. It just couldn't find the file. So I just went ahead and added intermediate slash and then the file name right here. So just be sure to do that from now on. Put the folder name before the forward slash and then put the file name right here and it will work. Okay, so anyway, uh, I went ahead and saved that and I executed the code. Um, if I refresh, there we go. We have our range of numbers, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so all we have to do is just um, return the range, uh, the, the sum of the, of the the number in that range, and that's really simple. We can do that with the reduce method. So range dot reduce a function a b okay and return a plus b okay i'm going to save that and if we do one plus two plus three plus four that should give us 10. Uh, i really hope so let's take a look and see if it gives us 10. And there we have it. It gives us 10. Uh, I'm going to take this code right here and uh, copy and paste it to free code camp just to make sure that we're doing everything that they want us to do. All right, that. And sure enough, your powers combined. Okay, we got the nice green message right there. So this was a soft, you know, warm introduction to the intermediate section uh, but trust me it will get more and more challenging as we uh, go along um, but anyway um, you did a good job in this video thanks for following along if you have any questions comments or suggestions for improvement please write them below and i will be sure to read them and uh, respond to them thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Boop.